on this National Day of Prayer, good evening and welcome to our evening prayers. I will invite you as we're preparing for prayer this evening to turn to page 140 in the Book of Common Prayer or go online to BCP online and turn to page 140 and join us there for prayers at the close of day. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth, bless you out of Zion. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Lord, you are in the midst of us and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord, our God. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see. A light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. As we pray this night for ourselves and for others, we begin by praying for the church and for the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours and grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. We continue to remember before you, dear God, all those who have been affected in any way by the novel coronavirus. Give all who suffer courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend to your mercy all who have died, that your will for them may be fulfilled and we pray that we may share with all your saints in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we come to the close of a day, dear God, we thank you for all of the blessings of this life. We thank you above all for your immeasurable love. We pray together the words that Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light where there is sadness, joy, 
Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. My prayers are with you this night and always. Thank you.